Hello, my friends. It is me, that guy over there. And today we are going to work on this game. The game which I have edited since the last time you saw it. The spring, it is different. The grid, it is different. And the character, he is now called Damon. But I'm going to change that to, uh... What will I change it to? Eric. That's what his name is going to be. Okay, so, here we are back in this game, and I'm going to work on it. I haven't looked at it in, like, three weeks, basically since I did last episode. That's how long it's been. And, uh, we're going to do some stuff. Okay, so one person in particular, who will remain nameless, really, 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 really wants me to show how to do a double jump. So, uh... I guess I'll do that in this episode. Last time I said I was going to do something with bullets, but bullets come way later. Because we're still in the basic stages here. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Double jump, double jump, double jump. Alright, double jumps are really easy. Relatively. So we're going to make a new group called Double Jump. Wow, that wasn't predictable at all, was it? Alright, so what we want to do is make it so that your character can only jump once after he's jumped initially in midair. So we're going to do that using a flag. So let's see if I can even remember how this works. Alright, so what we're going to do here is when you jump when you're on the ground, which is what this event is, we're going to set flag 1 on. Alright. So, and then what we're going to do is when you press that and this, whoops, this isn't overlapping a backdrop, meaning you're not on the ground. When you press jump, you're not on the ground. And what we're going to have to put here is flag 1 is on. So you've just jumped. It turns the flag on. Oh, you know what? Okay. I'm going to have to put that right there, actually. It's going to set this. To negative, the double jump is going to be a little less potent than the original jump. Alright. The reason I have to put this here, I think I might have talked about this before, is that Multimedia Fusion reads all the events from top down. So what would happen if I left this here would be this. It would go down, loop, 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 gravity, blah, blah, blah. Oh, when you press jump, it's going to make you jump. It's going to turn your flag on, right? Read, 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 read. Oh. When you press jump and you're not on the ground, which you aren't, and your flag is on, it's going to make you jump again. So basically it's going to go jump. Okay, he jumped. Oh, his flag is on. He's going to jump again, and it's going to do both jumps at the exact same time, I think. I might have just... Oh. Uh, wow, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I just explained something that didn't even matter. Oh, well. But yeah, this is the guy's animation now. Uh... uh so I might have just totally made all that crap up. But, you know, things happen. Alright, that's a really wimpy double jump. In fact, his whole movement needs to be edited. Uh, why is his horizontal movement so slow? This needs to be 30. Ah, ah, ah. 3 speed. Alright, so that should work. Now you're really fast. And, yeah. And you can double jump. So that's how you do double jumps. That's it. That's, yeah. So that only took, like, what? I made a double jump within, like, three minutes. Alright. So, no, that was four minutes. Never mind. Never mind, guys. That was four minutes. I'm, I'm exaggerating my own skill. Anyway... So, you hit the spring, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, the spring. What I did to make the spring... Well, let me just show you real quick. When you jump on the spring, it does that animation thing right there. Uh, let me show you how I did that. So, you have the spring. It has five frames. First frame is like that, da, 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 da. Right? All right, you might not be able to see that. All right, da, 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 da. Goes down like that, right? But the play animation plays out at 50 speed, the average, and when it hits, well, it's going to loop on itself back to frame, frame 5 over and over, 
But when you hit it, it's going to set the animation frame to zero, which is the first one. Then it's going to restore the animation frame, meaning it'll play normally after that. So it goes back to the beginning and just plays to the end again right after you jump on it. Boom. Yeah. You know, I've done double jumps before, and I always overcomplicated it. This is the first time I've done this in this... Whoa. Oh, that's a, that's a mistake. I forgot to... Whoops. Oh, yeah. forgot to set this to 24 by 24. Oops. And I gotta set that there. And let's just turn this red, because you can't really see it otherwise. And let's make sure this is... Crap. <laughs> let's make sure this is crap. No, I... By changing everything... What the heck? Oh. Man, I am totally screwing everything up. Maybe I shouldn't have changed the grid. Maybe I just should have made the character bigger. But no. Alright, it's all good now. I fixed it. It's alright. I did it. Alright, so now that thing works again. Woo. Wee. I'm Eric. See, look, we're already having fun. Alright, guys, how much time do I have left? I have tons of time left. What was I? I was, I was going to do something else, and now I just forgot. Let's see. Oh, okay. So, I'm going to make it so you have variable jump height. You know how in some games, how if you hold the jump button longer, it'll make you jump a little higher? You, I'm going to make it so you can do that in this game. So, when you're doing that, when you're holding down, when you're holding down the jump button and you're still going up, let's see, what's the current? If you add, blah, 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 alright, let's subtract from grav point one and see how that works. That's all you need to do, right there. Yep, there's my full jump height, there's just a tab jump height. You think that difference is big enough, guys? Whoa. That was weird. But yeah, that's my full jump height. It's just a tab jump height. Hmm. Can't jump when I'm under there. Uh, that also makes your double jump bigger, too. Alright, so that's how you do that. You just add a little bit to our subtract of it from the grab. What that does is just slows down the, pro the progression of it so that it doesn't go down as fast when you're holding that. Now what I'm going to change that a little. Let's take it 1.0.0.15. Whoa. Yeah, that's huge. What I'm going to have to do then is going to ta -da, make your gravity stronger. So there's a tap jump, there's my full jump, and there's my double jump. I think that's about right. Uh, hmm. Alright, and now that thing works, and I already used my double jump, so I can't use it. That's how high you can jump. Alright, I think that might be enough for one video, you know. I'm not going to stretch it out longer than I need to. So I hope you enjoyed that. hope you're uh, following along and having fun developing your own game. I really hope I'm explaining things all right. If I'm not, then comment the video and I might respond to you. I might not. It all depends on my mood. But either way, hope you're enjoying this. See you next time when we do more stuff. Bye-bye.